Matt Walsh. M- Matt Welsh. Yeah. Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're already live. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. I think I'm live on YouTube. Good to see you there, Sarah. And uh, who else? Kirtus C. Good to see you. And uh, today is my first day on the Foxhole. And yes, it works. Oh, my God, it works. And then uh, I hope it might be live. No, it's not live on Telegram. Well, fine. Saves me a lot of stress, actually. And um, and we're on D-Live. So hello, everybody. Good to see you all. I'm happy to uh, be he- here with you all. I haven't streamed in a while, actually. And uh, today I'm here with uh, Matt Welsh. And um, we're going to be talking about music and awakening. And before I do that, a little bit of a household thing. So on Monday, I'm going to have uh, Lily uh, Nova on. And she has great... Um, alien and UFO experiences. So we're going to be talking about that. And also, um, I'm going to be having a fundraiser soon, uh, which with free giveaways. um, And that's actually to help me for uh, my Mexico trip, because things got a little bit expensive at the moment with the flights and all that it has tripled. So yeah, need a little bit of help with that. But other than that, I hope you're all doing well. Um today we have, like I said already, Matt Welsh. Hi, Matt. How are you? Hey, Patricia. Great. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me on. I actually found you. Uh, oh, there's a cat. Um, I'm, I'm cat sitting. So um, I found you on um, uh, another streamer and um, and I thought, oh, my God, that guy makes great music. And uh I figure, and then you were talking about your awakening and your spiritual awakening and all that. And I figured, you know, with all these millennials we see these days that are completely unhinged and liberals, we need to have a bit of a, a counterweight here. And that would be you, uh, one amongst one of them. But you know what? I always um, notice that we don't see uh, many of you guys. We don't see you guys that much, but... Uh, that's probably also because the other, the woke people are pretty vocal, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's probably the other problem. Hi, Neo. Good to see you. And thank you for the shades. Yay. That's my first time I've said that. And uh, but, yeah, go ahead and tell me a bit about you. Yeah, that, thank you. Uh, that's a big compliment because uh, I do consider myself more of a well-rounded type of uh, awakened individual. And there is a difference between woke, W-O-K-E, and awake. There's a massive difference. Woke is just another psyop, another agenda. You know this. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like you're there, but you're still not quite there in terms of um, grasping the reality of how serious uh, everything is, um, just the nature of reality and, and the agenda is playing out. So there's, there's a whole thing going on. And I also appreciate the compliments on the music because... Uh, I feel like that's probably the most underrated thing that I do that uh, a lot of folks maybe just haven't caught on to yet. Uh, maybe they will in the future, but uh, I like to rock and these songs rock and, and I'm stoked to, to play a few tunes and talk about that today. <laughs> right. I, I actually, I watched it and I loved it. It was really amazing. Actually, Neo, I saw that I'm not live on Foxhole. I don't know what's going on. It just, it's turning, it's a turning wheel. So if there's anything I can do about it, I don't know. But for those that, um, well, you can't hear me if you're in Foxhole. So um, yeah, you will you will have to find me somewhere else, which is on DLive or on YouTube. So yeah, it sucks a bit, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was going to toggle the re- restream thingy. I cannot do that because I'm actually in Zoom over to restream so there's nothing to toggle um we'll have to figure it out for next week then uh neo i don't know what's going on paid for nothing i see oh the foxhole yeah yeah that is that sucks i mean <laughs> sounds uh, like a rabbit hole <laughs> wait let me let me tell everybody i am on the live 
sorry if it does not work here. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to actually play a song uh, just so people get a feel of you. It's actually the first song that I listened from you and I really loved it. And then we're going to go into it, right? Sure, let's do it. So let's start doing that. Um, let me get that. Did you want me to share the screen for that or you, you've you already got that? I'm going to do this one. You can okay. do the next. Perfect. So, all right. Uh, let me see. Here we go. And share. Am I sharing? I see it. All right, Do then. I hear it is the question. Let's go. Sick and tired yeah. and everything's falling here. apart. I should have known this would happen from the start. Feels like I've been here so many times before. There's a reason for the seasons, but this one I'm not sure. Maybe there's something, something else for me. can't break me down I've got my feet planted in the ground rock bottom is where I've been far too long you can build me up but you can't break me down I've got my feet That was beautiful. I love that song. And I love, love, love the lyrics too. And um, I was, yeah, blown away by that. And then I went on checking more uh, about your music. And and then they saw that you are actually, um, you are having also frequencies uh, worked into there. So let's just start with this and tell me, about it and tell me about the process how it all started sure uh that song restore is part of a a an ep is what it's called so it's not a full-length record it's seven songs total and it kind of began as like a concept whereas we recorded that track first we did the music video and then i was traveling the northeast with my wife and we just realized like i need a record like that was the next step of my music career as really 
moving the needle in my life. And I reached out to the producer, Josh Hastick, and told him the idea. He loved it and uh, flew down from Na- or drove down from Nashville with all his gear. We set up in Orlando and we recorded another six songs and just it, it all kind of came together in a way where each song wasn't intended originally when I wrote it to be about a chakra, but each song, when I finished, I was like, oh my God, like each song resonates with one of the chakras. There's not ex- exactly a frequency in there. It's not 432 Hertz, except okay. for the, the heart chakra song. That's the only one that is, but uh, the lyrical context. And, you know, if you were to visualize that energy center and then listen to the song, it's, the story in there and the lessons are designed to help move that chakra to, to help reframe the story within yourself as you kind of, you know, as the song acts as a mirror, as you can see what, what I've gone through, what I've done, what I'm saying there, and then how, how that resonates with you, you know, so that that's the, that I changed it to awakening. I called it the awakening. Uh, I'm just going to call it awakening. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Actually, what I love are the lyrics because I can resonate with them. And I think uh, many people that woke up um, awakened uh, over the years all hit rock bottom, you know, at one point or another. Huh. I sure did multiple times and I climbed back up. But, you know, this is also what triggers this awakening. And uh, and I believe that m- might be the same for you, but that's up to you f- to tell us, actually. But I was curious about it. Yeah, that was a point that's been on the forefront of my mind a lot lately as to why I do what I do. And ultimately, I, I truly believe that there is going to be a fallout for maybe lack of better words a fallout of souls that are hurt and confused and lonely they feel isolated when they start realizing a lot of the lies and deception that they were told that basically that everything is a lie or a half truth an inversion of the truth at best and they've been living within this uh system this reality that uh you know, they don't have to live it anymore, but, but to make that conscious choice to build a new life as an awakened individual is a long, hard and courageous road. And I, I do believe that the music that I've made and that few others are making um, is going to be there to support people on their journey. Yeah, I think so too. It's absolutely catchy, but it has so much depth in it too, uh, in the lyrics. And that's, did you write them yourself or? Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I wow. wrote everything. I did all the instruments on everything I do just about, you know, aside from a guest guitar appearance here or there, you know, someone yeah. kicking in on the bass, you know, um, you know, because that's not my forte or biggest passion. But yeah, I write everything. It all comes from right here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually blown away that you have so little subscribers, but I guess you, you are in different platforms, but just, yeah, just elaborate on it, how, um, where it all started and how you are, you know, getting out there. Yeah, uh, I, I believe in my heart and soul that the responsibility and, and the purpose that I'm here to do is so big that it has required me to really develop myself and obviously have a lot of patience um, because when the time comes, when I'm given the stage, I need to be ready for it. And if I had, you know, had early success or fame or fortune or any of that stuff, I wouldn't be nearly as developed as I am with the, the certifications and life experience that I have and the whole discography that I have. I mean, it's none of it would be what it is now. So I'm just getting ready for that time. And, and believe me, it, it shocks me too. I have my moments of feeling like, damn, like it'd be nice if I had, I mean, at least like some bit of reach here where, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, when I put something out, there's a reciprocity, not just financially, but just energetically. Like, yeah, I just released all my discography on the 2-22-2022. Same day. Wow. I, I happened to be in Mexico at the Chichen Itza. Like that was the day I landed at the pyramid, the Mayan pyramid, the day that all that music came out, went worldwide. Wow. And I've had nobody reach out to me and say, dude, what the heck? This is so good. Like, how come 
you know, it's not on the radio. How come this kind of like how you're asking me, like, th that's the response that I'm looking for. Cause the more people recognizing that, the more I start hearing that, the more I know there's uh, becoming a demand and it soon will be. Yeah, actually I'm quite impressed because, and it gives me goosebumps because um, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, how is this guy not having followers and like so little and how is he not seen? And then I thought, well, maybe it's not the right time exactly, but, um, you know, because we get really impatient. We all have our missions to do and everybody, and I'm definitely impatient now because I've been at it for 20 years. And um, yeah, so at a certain point you're like, I'm done. I need to get my mission. But in order to get your mission done, you need to, you know, work on your inside as well. And uh which is the first priority, right? In order to be there out in the world. And maybe it's now it's the time for you. And uh, let me just say hi to a few people here. Scott sure. Robinson, good to see you. Thumper Rose and Sarah Leyland, good to see you too. And Ron, better lately, good to see you too. Um, happy to see you all. And uh, yeah, you, you guys have to check him out. Actually, I did not put your uh, YouTube uh, channel in the description but um let's let's just start with because you were telling me about a song that you did recently um there's actually his website is in the description on youtube so whoever is indeed live i didn't put any descriptions there because there's no possibility but um it's in YouTube in the links and I can put it in the chat right now, which is his website. And uh, let me, let me get that. Um, uh, wait, let me, the website is, that's be, uh, yeah, be loved and be you, right? Yes. The seven letter acronym, be loved and be you.com. I love it. Did you want me to share my screen and share that with everyone? Is that what you're asking? Or... Yeah, you can do that. But let me first give them uh, your YouTube as well. So okay. that's the that's there also on the website. All of my socials are they're linked in the footer. So if, if anybody wants to connect uh, now or after whenever you're seeing this, that's yeah. the best way to do it. Yeah. I figured oh, you, oh, actually, I, I think I have the wrong link. I have beloved for you as written, not the, the, oh, well, the full words. Like yeah. spelled out. Yeah. That's, that's like my personal blog where I'm, I'm okay. It's that's less about the music it's related, but. Okay. You know, so now they have it all. So it's all in the chat for everybody that wants to check it out. So yes, please uh, show us, uh, and tell us something about your music and, uh, well, your website. And yeah, I definitely recommend everybody follow him uh, on uh, YouTube as well. Yeah, uh, so you can see my screen now. Everyone yeah, you can see that. This is something I'm really proud of. It's a recent development after a ton of feedback from mentors in the music industry, just entrepreneurs outside of the industry. They were all like, Matt, they're offering all these things, man, retreats, yoga, qigong, breathing, yeah, this age of Aquarius, this, all this stuff. But we just want to hear your music. Yeah. So the, mess, the message was received. Uh, and I built this website, beloveandbeyou.com. That's the seven letter band name acronym um, specifically for the music. So this is music for the Aquarian age. And something that you uh, brought up, Patricia, was the idea of new age is um, it's kind of a taboo word and thing. And I agree with that. Um, the new age deception is very real. And that's something we can dive into a bit later. But yeah. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that we are in a new age, an air age of Aquarius, and this shift has taken place uh, it, most likely between, between 2012 and 2020. So we're wow. in it now. We're adjusting. It's uh, an air sign, Aquarius. So, so that is a, um, a technological age, massive societal change. It's a good time to be alive overall, but the shift has been rocky. And hence, we have music for this new age of Aquarius. Yeah, um, which I can see and know is going to be a a time period where people get back to the true science and nature of reality. Um, as you can see, we've got the five platonic solids here, which each relate to the five elements. Um, so, it, you know, this this uh, site, I'm really proud of it. It's it highlights the entire discography 
Um, wow. Uh, Did you know, actually, they already talked in the 70s about the age of Aquarius. There were songs made about it. Oh, but, yeah. So can yeah. you tell us about, you, you were telling me about a song that is, yeah, very current. Yeah, very current. Um, well, that's this one, The Last Stand. Um, so I, I believe that right now this is the last stand for humanity or just the, the individual conscious being to make a choice of whether they want to live in the uh, old Piscean age matrix, the old system, the maritime law inspired system perpetuated by the Vatican, et cetera, et cetera. Or do you want to live as a sovereign infinite being that you are, which um, is outside of the system, which is, which is going to require you building everything from scratch basically like growing your food finding a place where you can uh have land and you won't get um get it taken from you or um you know extorted from that land in some way <laughs> uh, yeah so it's it's literally starting over so i i think it's the last stand now if um you know for people to make that choice otherwise it's almost like a portal that's been opened that portal that window's closing and and the longer that yeah an individual takes to not make that change they're going to um, by default get stuck in whatever system they're in either yeah. by consciously or unconsciously so this is the last stand for you know us to make well not to mention change. it gets more and more difficult also to go through it because you can uh, the earth is changing with this energies as well and so um, you know these these frequencies are getting higher and higher and so if you do not move with that it's going to get harder and harder for you to um, you know, help you because this is also why you see so many people suffer and so many suicides as well. Uh, how sad it is, but I guess that's just the way of things. And I'm just thinking when you were talking about, I was thinking about Dolores Cannon who was talking about the three waves um, of people coming in. And I would, I'm one of the first waves. I, I was born in 69 and then you know, you've got all these people coming in from so many different generations that are awake on different levels and that have something to show uh, that is, you know, it, it's important for all of humanity, no matter from which perspective you look at it, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you referring to like, I don't know, like Lemurians, Atlanteans, like that, that type of well, uh, Dolores Cannon is actually, uh, um, she uh, developed the QHHC, quantum hypnosis. Okay. Um, and um, well, I'm a practitioner as well, but she actually wrote a lot of books about it. And the experience she had from clients that were under hypnosis, talking about everything, like for, for I think she started in the 60s. And so they always talked about this during their hypnosis. And uh, I actually had one on Lemur in Lemuria as well, uh, which I actually posted on my YouTube. But um, it's, it's it's fascinating anyway. But wow, yeah, okay. a lot of people talked about it already. Well, thanks for sharing. Okay, yeah. So um, you're right. You know, there's there's a lot of um, you know. Yes, we're all one. <laughs> At the end of the day, right? We're just uh, observers. Right. You know, uh, we're just conscious awareness. I mean, that's all I could actually prove that I am. I can't prove that this body, this meat sack is real. Um, yeah. But I know that I'm perceiving this meat sack. That's real to me. I know yeah. I'm perceiving it. So, uh, yeah. Um, despite our we're having a human experience. <laughs> right. A hu human, H-U-E, hue, like the color, right? Because right. light, light beings, we have the chakras, which are different colors, kind of like the rainbow and you know, when the sun is setting, like, especially in Florida, man, can you see the chakras in the sky, um, the way the angle of the sun is hitting? I mean, so all this light, you know, consciousness and. Oh, apparently you know, your volume is really low. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, let me bring that a little bit closer. Is it better? I'll give me a five, five, you guys. And yes, let's hear mean... it. Five, five. We're sounding loud and clear. <laughs> well, I hear you a lot better now. <laughs> you do? Yeah, because I, I can make it better. If yeah, it I be. I hear you louder now. I hope the rest does too. So let's okay. Let's wait for the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, check one two, baby. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna take it. 
well, where am I going to take this? So the last stand, right? Um, by the way, my mother, Carolyn, made this artwork. Just she's incredible. Oh, wow. Um, I, I have a really outstanding team of individuals. It's all voluntary based, you know, and, and pay by performance. When we win, we all win together. Like we're just a bunch of souls that said, hey, I'm good at this. And I love what you do. And I love what you do. So let's work together. And we've wow. been meeting every yeah. week for like an hour masterminding for over two years. Beautiful. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, my mom does the artwork. Um, Alex, uh, he has a brand product marketers delight uh, and Cola cube. He goes by, but he built all this website, WordPress based, um, you know, deep in the code, just, we call him man genius. Cause he's, he's brilliant. Um, and then, well, uh, I think it's time that your work starts paying off now because you've put so much energy and work in it. And, you know, um, I do believe, you know, this is if you look at the new the artist, you know, the Hollywood and all that, we all know how kind of evil that is and even their sounds and their frequencies. So, you know, you, you're just going to be part of that new that new artist vibe, new music. And so, oh, you've got a cat too. I know. I was going through YouTube and I, I wanted to send my condolences for your two kitties. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday it was a year ago. And uh, oh mm. my God, look at him. So I don't cute. mean to interrupt what you were saying, but I was like, hey, if I get a chance to showcase Greyjoy, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's uh, he's a handsome man. He's got the white socks. The yeah, white I see that. Tuxedo. Wait till you're done with you share screen it, your screen share, <laughs> so then we can all see him. Oh, you couldn't see him? Well, I can't. Well, really small, but it doesn't matter. Just but you can oh, get okay, him okay. later. I really want to see him again <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Um, yeah, I love my cats. Uh, they're very superior. Their consciousness is, it's definitely, they can see a lot of things that we can't. And yeah. uh, it kind of keeps me uh, on a whole other level. That's for sure. And keeps my heart nice and full and uh, right. filled with compassion and patience so uh so you want to let this song <laughs> be heard because i really um oh curious yeah yeah sure um let's do that and while it's loading um i guess i'll, I'll finish what i was saying uh as far as the team you know i've also got stardust is her name she does all my logos a lot of the artwork she's designed um just all out just creative artist genius and uh the team is very they're special to me so shout out to you guys yeah. if you're watching uh, and i'm probably going to check it out later if anything um but this song um this song is called the last stand legend of lutes lutes is a uh he's a pirate so to speak so he's um a very he's also kind of a genius too and, and he helped create a blockchain uh technology called pirate chain which is currently second I'd say it's probably second to Monero, which is the most sound money on the planet for the, the digital air age of Aquarius. Yeah. Uh, so, so blockchain crypto is very near and dear to my heart because there's a lot of education that needs to be um, had in the space in terms to free in regards to pr uh, freedom and privacy. So this song is all about that because right. uh, pirate chain Monero coins like that are untraceable. I, I cannot find out how much pirate chain you have um, you could send me a million bucks pirate chain, no government entity, no human being can track that. It's completely anonymous wow. and untraceable sound money. It's a, um, a fixed supply. So you don't have the problem of inflation, money printing, um, you know. I just it, got into the crypto actually, um, like cool. little of uh, like a year ago. So, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm exploring, not that I have a lot of money to put in anyway, but you know, um, it's good to, to learn because, uh, yeah, Neil, we're old. <laughs> we need to learn that shit because, you know, it's, um, actually my mom who is 77 is, is already starting getting into the crypto stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's outstanding. Yeah. It's, it's very complex, but yeah. So do you sorry what did you say it's never too late right oh no yeah. it's never too late to learn <laughs> so do you want to um let the song here uh yeah, be heard? So instead of talk about it right let's let's let the music speak for itself 
Yes. Okay. If you don't hear it or see it, just let me know, but I'm going to press play and then full screen. Yeah. I'll check and the I, chat. I'm going to mute my computer too, because it's going to pick up on the mic, I think. So let's try it. You can actually set it for a video clip. Oh, I can? Yeah, but um, you have to stop the screen share and then you have to click on the bottom. It says optimize video clip. Okay. So I'm going to stop the share. And now I click that arrow. Advanced sharing options. No, that's no, not at it. the bottom. There's uh, share the sound or share uh, optimize for video. Oh, like so when I'm sharing my screen, it'll, it'll ask if I want to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So let me share my screen again. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Did it? Did it? I, it should. Um, All right. Let's go for optimize. it. Oh, yeah. Optimize screen share for video clip. Okay, Dang. perfect. You are good. Wait, please restore your audio sharing applications. After it's share your computer audio please install the zoom audio device um i'm afraid to do this but let's try it and otherwise i can yeah if anything happens i'll pop right back in but let's see okay i think that worked i don't hear it but do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now do you oh, hear it? Yeah. Great. Here we go. I work to eat and sleep and just repeat. I wonder, is this the life for me? I followed all the rules and did my best. Tragedy put my will to the test When I found some answers I spoke up Then I was cast into the shadows They chained me up No, I won't forget the things that they said And you don't know the places I have been People say that I was wrong All along I stayed strong oh, 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 oh. Batting down the hatches This is the calm before the storm The system has been broken And soon we'll be no more they can enslave us, but they can set us free. This is the last stand for our freedom and our privacy. No, I won't forget the things that they said. And you don't know the places I have been.
Wow. Okay. That was beautiful. Thanks. That, that's like very new, that song. So it, it really showcases me now, whereas Restore was like, you know, five, over five years ago. This is like fresh. Right. I love, yeah. love, love the, the video, uh, the people around it. It's so high vibe. And, um, you know, it's, it's yeah, I totally see like the new Bon Jovi type of, you know, but then the new Earth Bon Jovi <laughs> kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thanks yeah, it's beautiful. That. Also, thank you, Sean, Joe, and uh, GD Ladybug for the cookies on uh i i do hope that the scratching thing uh, works later on but yeah <laughs> so yeah i i love that song and i believe people really need to uh yeah start listening to your music and you need to just be discovered and um yeah i i just want to talk to you about also your like spiritual journey and how that went um because i guess you always did your music already and so um you, you then started combining the two, which is brilliant, obviously. And, you know, we, we need to make, um, you know, uh, like in order to do things high vibe, you need to love doing it. Right. And uh, I can totally see that. So, um, yeah, I really would like to know how that developed for you and how your spiritual awakening came to be. Yeah, sure. That's a great question. Uh, I actually just did a podcast uh, a couple of days ago with a friend of mine, Kurt Robinson, the beautiful thought podcast. And we spent a couple hours digging into a past trauma of mine. Um, so for sake of us covering more things, I I'd recommend you guys check that out. If you subscribe to my YouTube, it'll be up probably the next two to three weeks. Um, but that trauma is what, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what shook me when I was 19 years old, my high school sweetheart, went missing oh wow and, uh, Wait, you know, can you stop days. sharing the screen so people can see you actually no problem yeah so, right. so she she went missing for about five days uh this was just after mother's day 2011 and she was found on the fifth day on friday the 13th uh, obviously not alive and um yeah that was um Whoa. that was Whoa. my uh catalyst for awakening Obviously, it wasn't too obvious for me because you said oh. she went missing. So what <laughs> happened? Yes, I guess nothing about it was obvious. People were really uh, uh, perplexed, including myself. Um, yeah, uh, she I mean, as far as we know, she'd taken her life. She drowned herself in a lake. Uh, you know, it, so for five days, uh, we're all trying to find her, uh, you know, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people got involved. There was a $10,000 reward, big old billboard going around. It was all over the news. And uh, I was basically trapped inside my parents' house at the time, uh, you know, because there were people threatening my life and accusing me of foul play and being involved. And I'd already been through questioning and all kinds of stuff with multiple detectives, like more than willing to help, you know, so that wasn't the case. But yeah, the whole thing was just very traumatic and very revealing of the way the system works and how people react to it, you know, I mean, it, it, it brought out a lot of good in people. And then it just brought out like the, the really dark side of consciousness, you know, in human form, like people were awful. They were just, uh, I imagine today, I mean, and that's only what 10 years ago, but if you look <laughs> today, it's tenfold, right? It, it's the same system. It's this, everything they do is the same. I, yeah. all, all they were trying to do was ex get some time with me to exploit me in some kind of way to twist my words all to boost their ratings, which is all based on fear mongering. <laughs> well, what, was it on TV uh, aired all that stuff? Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, uh, I I'm not famous now, but that was my 15 minutes of fame <laughs> and, and not the way you want to be famous. I mean, literally right. I was, I was getting thousands of friend requests on Facebook and it, yeah, it just like everything I wanted to, to come from music came from like the tragic loss of my girlfriend that I loved it, you know, at the time it was, uh, that's what, um, really 
sent me on my spiritual journey. I, you know, I grew up in the Catholic church eight years. We did the CCD, got my confirmation, the whole thing, you know, um, I just laughed my way through it. I couldn't take any of it seriously. Uh, it wasn't speaking to me, you know, studying the Bible, the, the way we were doing it. It just didn't make any sense. Didn't resonate. Uh, granted, there's a lot of wisdom within the text. Uh, but as a young kid, there's no way I was, all I want to do is goof around and skateboard and play music back then. Um, so it was a nice try, but, but my connection to spirit was always strong. And in fact, I, I created this signs, little poster, stapled it to my wall. So every morning, as soon as I woke up, I saw three words, you love God. And it just remind me of like, oh yeah, I love God, you know, and I'm here to, to serve, you know, the, the higher power that is, whatever that is. Um, you know, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, you get, you guys are gonna have to check out the other podcast because it's, we really went deep into it. Um, but, but the key takeaway is that she was an Aquarius born February 12th and, uh, you know, 2012 is, it's about when the Mayans predicted that we would be, you know, be the doomsday and end of it was actually the apocalypse. beginning of, of the great awakening, right? Because yeah, I 2012, really was a major year for me too. I spent six months in rehab in that year and uh, huh. I went through hell and, uh, but I got out of the right side and uh, on the good side. And, and that's where my journey started actually, but clearly for you too. And, yeah. um, and Isn't many, it is. And many of us have, you know, uh, around that time, everybody went through trauma, but you know, that's where we learn the most where the pain is. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I was, uh, I was shook from to the core. Um, every sense of what I thought reality was or, or God or everything life after death. I mean, all of it came into question and, and I, I was either all in or I was all out. Like I was either close yes. to <laughs> going down the road she went or i was going to play full out and i was going to if i'm going to do it i want to have resources i want to have reach i want to have real answers you know and and that's what sent me in that journey i mean to uh, pursue, pursuing the truth and my god i mean um to say that i put in my ten thousand hours is an understatement like i've <laughs> i've been steadfast on this probably as you have since 2012 yeah. which to me was um you know, it, it's the coming of the age of Aquarius and, and the souls that were incarnated to, to, you know, help, uh, within this shift. Right. Uh, the waves basically... as, that's what Dolores Kenner talked about. So the three waves, those okay. are the people that come in over these decades and they become more and more and more. And so here's an interesting thing though. I was just thinking about the 2012 at the time, Obviously, in the world, there was a lot going on, but it wasn't that much on the surface as it is today. And so if you right. look at it at the time, you said it's like the sink and swim feeling, right? Because I know that yeah. feeling many mm -hmm. times over. But it was easier at the time to say, no, I'm going to swim. And today it's 10 times more difficult because yeah. now yeah. you get the whole stress and chaos from the world on top of you as well. And so try to navigate yourself through that um, explains probably why a lot of people just don't make it. Because if, if you are now in this time that you have to go through what we went through in 2012, hmm. oh, my God, it's a lot harder to say swim. You know, uh, yeah. I think if yeah. I uh, if 2012 would have been l like the world is today, I probably would have sunk. <laughs> Big time. You and me both. Uh, I'm so glad you said that because if there's anyone out there that is going through some stuff like that, like we did now, um, you're so right. I mean, just everything is against us. And, and well, within that reality of the system, it sure yeah. is. But that's why this is a last stand. Like if you want to swim, you got to choose now to not be a part of that system because that window is closing. And it's going to take you with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. To take you down into the, the abyss. Yeah, it's uh, uh, even for me, like going through that whole, you know, healing over over these 10 years. Um, even now, sometimes I'm like, 
okay, I need to ground. I really need to breathe. This is also the reason why I want to move to Mexico because I just can't breathe over here in Europe. It's it's getting really heavy. It's um, it's really hard to keep up because especially when you've been awake for so long and you're like, okay, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? But at the end of the day, everything is still within us. You still need to say, yo, you are your creator of your reality. And, you know, you've got God and you get yourself and that's it. And so, but, but not being distracted is so difficult sometimes. Right. Oh God. Yeah. The temptations are insane. I mean, I, I, I recently had to kick what you talk about addiction was the, the nicotine vape pens. You know, oh, so it doesn't get. I just high. went on the vape. I just yeah, I kicked the cigarettes actually. Oh, good for you. I mean, honestly, I don't know which is better though. I mean, the vape is just way more addicting and I think harmful to your your respiratory system. You know, and you combine that with ELFs and EMFs, not just from five G telecommunications, yeah. but also from all the devices. I mean, I got like three laptops around me now. I'm I'm next to my Wi Fi router. I mean, uh, that's why I wear this nuclear receptor. You know. Uh, yeah because it's it's devices like this you know oh yeah uh, i've got my whole house full of organites as well organite. actually speaking yeah. of uh, i've got a 10 percent discount on the organite from um the merlin labs it's actually in the description for my youtube so you have to go there um and uh when i did a fundraiser for my mexico thing i'm going to be giving away uh two of them so uh yeah cool. uh w- just wanted to mention that but yes yeah. We need to protect ourselves with anything that we can, but also with our intentions, right? It's, um, you know, it is all, we do have that power within us, you know? Um, yeah. It, it is actually the, it was two weeks ago or so, and I did, all of a sudden I thought, hang on, you know, you, you because we say, oh, you know, you have to manifest and create your own your reality and this and that. No, you are responsible for your own reality. That is how grave the situation is at this point. <laughs> Realize that you are responsible for your reality. And if you do not grasp that, you know, uh, it's going to be more difficult. So yeah. it's not any more um, on a free will basis, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's free choice for now. Free will, who yeah. knows? Well, um, yeah, but you know, it's not. It's not like you know. It's like an option. No, there is no option left. Just create that freaking reality, right? Yeah, it's like that. That's that's the biggest uh, distinction of of mastering the universe. I think is is complete and total acceptance of self responsibility. You nailed it. Yeah, and you do attract as well, because if you're being in that low vibe, you're going to attract everything that's negative. And I know all about that because I'm really a masochist in that in that sense. You know, I always yeah. tend to dive back into these, you know, pit only to then say, no, stop it. Right. Get out. And uh, but but that's also why I decided to uh, move, because. I do believe it depends where you live. There is a different energy and you can thrive depending where you live. And then I discovered in the astrology, I'm totally in the wrong place. And oh. no wonder I am so stuck where I am now because astrology wise, um, that all made sense. It was spot on. And so then I checked the astrology for when I go over there. It's like marvelous. So, yeah. I'm really happy. I'm in full support. Any way I can help, let me know. Uh, Mexico is, it's, I think it's like God's country. It's, it's paradise. Yeah. I haven't been there. The culture, the history, the people, it's just the food. I mean, all of it. Oh yeah. It's not what the media tells you it is. They, they want to keep their, their tax slaves in the U S and elsewhere. Like they don't want you going to Mexico and living the best life ever. (laughs) Yeah. It's, um, I mean, I've never been there, but um, I'm definitely uh, I'm more drawn to countries like that. I was going to Bali, but you need to the jab and no way am I going to take that. So, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so tell me about how you went then through these years from 2012 and you climb yourself back up um, because that was tough. 
Uh, so you're pretty good at I've come full circle back to the original question. Uh, so you asked me, you know, what was the catalyst for my spiritual journey? We've got the Catholic church thing. We've got the trauma situation, 2012 Aquarian waking me up, you know, uh, what I've done with that ever since then was number one, accept complete and total responsibility for my life. And I, I've learned to be one of probably the most advanced entrepreneurs, marketers that I personally know. And if I, if it's not me, I'm connected to someone that knows how to do it. Uh, so I've been studying online marketing funnels and email marketing and everything that people are just shilling and clickbaiting today since 2012. I got into it right after Sarah passed away, not right after, but as soon as I, six months in, that's kind of what was the hand up that lifted me out of the, the crap. I was like, wow, like I could be a self-made millionaire and I could just be self-made overall. And this is so possible. And so much of it is like a, a mind shift and a perspective shift right and then you start attracting and aligning with opportunities and man i sure did and and um i mean some of these opportunities you wouldn't believe how they played out and came full circle like years later they played out um yeah but, yeah and and but, you can it's also great how you can look back and why you got where you are now because there's certain things on that path that you encounter that needed you to be prepared for this moment right now. Um, I've, I've encountered that a lot during my journey. So, you know, that you are like, oh, so like my cats, you know, they both passed in the same week. Yeah. I was with them for 15 years with angoraphobia, who which I have for 27 years. And so I only lived with them. I didn't even see a human being until I got my YouTube channel in 2020. So, wow. yeah. And so then I got the YouTube, I get into with people and connect, right? For the first time after over 20 years, I've been isolating in my house. Didn't need COVID for that. But then... I finally got into it. I got followers and all that stuff and share my experience. And I'm right up there going, being my best. And then, boom, one cat dies. And immediately the week after the other one dies. And they were with me from birth. Um, not that I birthed them, but, you know. Yeah. And that was so devastating. But at the same time, what happened was, oh my God, this is the moment where I need to do it myself now right. because they were my anchor. So, yeah, yeah. and I went to every minute of the grief so consciously. And okay. so uh, this past year has been hell in a different way, but no, I, I don't want to call it hell because it was so consciously suffering, uh, but also knowing that you're climbing up to something and why things are happening, realizing why everything is happening. That was a major take. Well, years ago, it took me years and months to just get over one hurdle. And now it was week after week, I got over several hurdles. And so, and I'm not the only one I noticed because many people around me had um, stuff that they went consciously through the pain is the best way to do it because, you know, you need to learn to not be your emotions, but, you know, try to get through that. And, oh, my God, it's hard. I've never cried so much in my life as this past year. Huh. Wow. Uh, you're right. That is the process. It's not attaching to it. It's not becoming it, but it's it's allowing it, you know, to, to come through, recognize it, and then uh, uh, let it go with love. You know, that, that is the process and, and it's definitely not easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm glad that you're better for it. I'm glad you're looking at a new environment because in order oh, to, I'm to scared sustain, less. Oh yeah. Yeah. But to sustain any change, it, the environment has to support the person that you, you're aspiring to become. Yeah. It has to, but, it won't last. <clears throat> But I, I just, you know, we were actually not talking about me, but I just wanted to point it out that things are different today when you go through something. I don't know if you've experienced that as well. Oh, yeah. Well, well it's hard to say because of, of who we are, you know, and the work that we've done. But 
I'm sure a lot of folks out there are just knocking back the pills and just numbing the pain, so oh, to yeah. speak, you know, and, and all you're doing is just, I mean, you're like shoving it back there and it's getting pent up. So it's only going to take some kind of catalyst for that to explode and cause way more damage than it needed to. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, actually two months after my kids passed, I quit antidepressants after 23 years. Oh, so, wow. Well, yeah, I already built up towards that, but that was the moment that I just thought, you know, and like a few years ago, it would have gone the complete different way. I would have just stopped popping pills because grief and, oh, I'm feeling so sad for myself. It was like, hell no, this is actually the sign that I need to do it alone. They are not there anymore to be my anchor. And now I need to get rid of those two and I need to get rid of that. And I need to do this and this and this, right? And every, all these lessons I went through. Um, but I think that's because of this period of time that we're in. In 2012, it was not even remotely like that. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Like now it's definitely sink or swim. So there's that kind of fire under your butt to be like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Time to look at this, like you said, consciously. It's it's a conscious um, uh, healing process. It is. Wow, actually, be, your story is fasc- fascinating. Um, it yeah, is you've been through right? a lot. My goodness, hey, speaking of cats, get down. Oh yeah, bring him. Let's show him. Come on. Actually, Thumper Rose is saying, I couldn't get through it without acknowledging it. That is so important. You need to acknowledge it. And that's what I didn't do in the, in the past. Now, you, you, you just, you know, you want to look away and all that. But now there's no option to look away anymore. I mean, you just have to go through it. Uh, Can you see him? Mm, well, uh, vaguely. I see a bit of white there. And the only way is to, to snatch him and... If he comes up, trust me, I'm gonna grab him. But right, you know, is he still young? Uh, my cats. I got two cats, Gray Julie and Lily. Um, they're both you know neutered and spayed, and <laughs> um, probably like five between five and seven years old. Oh, uh, yeah, they're they're um they're amazing. I I can definitely say that I use them as an excuse to um avoid certain things and just yes. you know and just it's like this. I mean, it's a real love and cheering me up, but at the same time, distracting myself, you know, from just getting something done or, you know. Oh, yeah, I know that. I mean, they kept my cats actually kept me also from, you know, fighting against the agoraphobia, those panic attacks and all that, because, you know, I was perfectly well here between my four walls. I was not being lazy or anything. I was just painting and doing stuff and, uh, you know, reading books. But I had them. They were like my life, um, you know. And then it, it's there's a reason that things change. I knew, you know. I mean, it's already weird. I didn't even see the second one coming to die in that same week you know and and that was my cue right there and then I heard that voice in my head it's like yeah it's time for you to do it yourself and your anchor is not going to be there anymore they're going to be on the other side watching you do it (laughs) and so yeah honestly too I, I think it was probably a great thing that they were both um you know, so close together because it would have been even more sad seeing one without their buddy, you know? Well, their brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like my cats, I, I trust me, I, I fear the day that I lose either of them or both of them. But if, if it's not like kind of a, all right, they both got old and they both passed on around the same time type of thing, it's going to be, it might be a little bit harder for me to process. I'm going to feel bad when, you know, gradually off looking, where's my Lily, you know? Where's oh, Yeah. Him? You know, and it's, uh, I don't know, if, I don't want him to bask in that experience. And, oh, God, I had, you know. I had so much grief. And then one night I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't. And, and I was like, give me a sign. And then all of a sudden I've got this wall with those pictures on there from them. And it started moving and I look and between my tears and I looked and I'm like, and I'm like, oh my God, you're here, you're here. And. I still get goosebumps when I think about it. And that was what just got me back in connection with them. 
from the other side, you know, oh, but okay. I, I couldn't feel them. I just missed them. I couldn't, you know, the grief was so bad. And so, you know, and then all of a sudden that happened. And, and I was at the end of my ropes. I was screaming and I was, I just, you know, I, I just couldn't anymore. And, um, and I looked and I'm like, is that the light that's flickering? Ah, well, there was the light flickering, but then there was their pictures were actually in frames. They were actually moving. And I went there and it just kept going on. And 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 that's when I broke down, but rather from a relief, like kind of thing. Oh, ex- excellent. Yes. All well, right. Well, actually, I was interviewing you, but I guess we're well, you know, we're, we're both healers and we're both doing the same thing, you know, so um, I like that this can be re- reciprocated, you know, I'm, I'm not the only star on the show. Well, <laughs> so what are your ideas with your music? What is your future? Um, you know, what you want your future to be looking like? And w- what are your plans with your music? Because I definitely think more people need to hear it. Yeah, uh, I, I'm basically not part of the music industry. And well, because I, I personally don't agree with uh, what most of the artists did during the lockdowns and and such. I mean, I get it. You want to go back and play your sold out shows and live the dream. I'd love to do it, too. But I, I thought it was wrong to urge people and lead by a, a uh, virtue signaling kind of example, um, you know, just so they could get back on the road and things to get back to normal, you know, because the context of that couldn't be so much further from what the, what's actually playing out and why all this is happening and where it's leading. It, it just, uh, to me, it just, it just led more people down a, a, a deeper, darker hole. And uh, sure. You know, it, when they try to get out of it, I'm going to be there, you know, and I'm going to be there like I always have been. And the music will be there to support them with their awakening, with their, these realizations, I love uh, that you see the higher purpose of it because many yeah. people are like, oh, you know, I've done all this work and all that. And now I need to make the money. But that's not what it's about. Of course, that will follow. But what it's about is the why. Why did you do it in the first place? And oh, it's, yeah, you know, the, I mean, the, the reason I do it is is uh, it's because it's like it's my purpose. So it, I can't even really even explain it to anyone. It's just like a higher calling within my heart and soul. Fun. You know, uh, of course, there's it's fun. Uh, the attention is nice. I mean, love playing music, love rocking. It's what I do. Um, but I I learned going to my first punk rock show in New Jersey when I was like 15 or 16. I was like, this is how you're going to change the world. It's that music and music videos is the most powerful way to get any message across. Period. End of story. Yeah. I mean there's outlets you can write a book there's things you can do but there's nothing like playing music on a stage and having that energy rest reciprocated doing the music videos that's basically hollywood you're making little movies you know with the song to me that's it and and i knew back then like okay well you you got some big work to do that's how you're going to do it that's your outlet so um You, know. you should actually play on like events like awakening events or crypto events and everything <laughs> has to do with you know the new earth that's type what of- I've been, that's what i've been doing isn't that crazy uh spot on uh but it's also strange for me coming from like a punk rock all my bands you know we were doing tours with scene bands and stuff and trying to play the cool guy game um, but but now well, like, yeah I'm but at- that's it right the whole ego has to go because it's yeah, not about yeah. that it's about bringing a vibe and so uh and you know on these events people like all sorts of music so it really doesn't matter what scene you come from as for the music genre but you know so i i think you could play on like um you know there was uh um recently like the secret space um program event you know, events like that, where it doesn't matter really everything that has something to do with the awakening and, you know. Yeah, I I do um, like on all the platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, all I, I am new age rock music. So new age rock is like the sub micro niche genre that 
I'm specifically targeting to find my true fans. And I hate even using the, not hate, but I, I don't like the word fans. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm looking to build my tribe. You know, I, I want, I want to have an email list where like, these are my people and they're waiting to hear from what I have to say. Yeah. You know, I'm not dodging spam filters and yeah, you know, like I, I, I want people that want to stay connected and want to grow and build community. And, you know, I, I want them to be the most intelligent and conscious beings on the planet. Like right now, you know, I, I'm Actually, not interested in a bajillion fans of sheep. I mean, it's, it's a bad word to use, but you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm just thinking because I know quite a few people in within this community as well. There is on Foxhole. They are all many are guitarists and stuff. And they do sometimes like streams with jamming and stuff like that. That would be fun. And, yeah. you know, I should connect you with these people because I do believe I do seriously believe because there's so much talent in there that, you know, people can work together and just, you know, create like an amazing event together with music and everything. Yeah, I'm, I uh, man, that was a recent evolution for the team and I had of, of, of starting a, an agency. Um the Aquarian Alliance agency, something that's not locked in yet, but we basically, we have to build this new earth or this new music industry of, right. of promoters, of venues, of artists, right? So all the components management, um, people, the people that do the, the stuff on the road. I mean, the roadies, like so much moving parts in the whole thing. And we need folks that, you know, either did not compromise themselves and, and will not compromise themselves. Um, and, and they're going to put out the music for the new age of Aquarius music. That's going to help people thrive and ultimately, you know, feel good and, uh, and grow and evolve. So that's exactly. next in the pipeline for sure. Just kind of spilled um, the beans on that one, but it's to your point. So I wanted to throw it in there. <laughs> I'm just going to throw your link in the, in the chat again, so people can find it and definitely go check him out on YouTube, go follow him. And, you know, cause I think you are going to be seen more often, like in the future, cause you know, the time is there. Oh, also hi, well, good to see you there and feel big. Still haven't changed your name, but anyway, good to see you. And, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I do believe that you are going to be seen um, now in, in the future, very like n now in this coming months and, and ahead, because, you know, you need to get out there. Your stuff is amazing. I love the music. Thank you. Jeez, uh, I mean. I, how long did you want to do the stream for? Because I, I got time, but, you know. Well, I actually was going to round it up because. Round um, it up? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'm, I'm just trying to think maybe um, some points that I could add just to, to round it off. Um, did you have any other questions or ideas that, that you. Well, I'd of? love to have you back and, and just talk a bit more about the whole you know, spiritual side of things, because I learned also that you actually are quite accomplished when it comes to that as well, uh, doing the Qigong um, and, and uh, modalities that you have. And I really yeah. love to talk about that as well. Yeah. Uh, number one is the breath. You know, I, breath work is more trendy than ever, but I've done just about any plant medicine in the book and even breath work has superseded psychedelics uh what they've done for my life i mean just breathing in shavasana on the ground for 10 minutes straight in and out through the nose it changed my life and i realized wow um i i, I feel like i've done it all and, and yet i haven't it, yeah. yeah so that's the one note i can add for the viewers today on that we can dive into it later but um, oh god i definitely want to do a whole episode about that stuff because you know, I love the whole healing stuff, like also the Wim Hof, who is Dutch, uh, doing his breath work and his, you know, cold baths and stuff like that. There is so much there that can help us when it comes to healing and health. Um, I definitely want to go into that with you in another episode. Is that OK? Yeah. Oh, I, I'd love to. Yeah, by all means. Um there was uh, one other thing I, I could share if you if you guys have a few more minutes. Sure. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to share my screen just real quick, just to make this kind of a breeze. Um, but on this site that I showed you guys, the music focus site, when you scroll down to the bottom, there's two options. And this is the, you know, uh, my personal blog that we were showing everyone, uh, or that you mentioned, you know, that's, that's, uh, yeah. that's more personal stuff, but join the community is the most important thing I want to highlight now, because this has become my biggest passion project. And um, that is ageofaquarius.org. So this is where I'm personally building a community. We, we have a state of the art forum. It's, uh, you know, free to join, you know, you, you get on the email list and then you set, set up an account on the forum. And it's very much like uh, an Instagram handle or any social media handle. Once you have that username, nobody else can take it. So I always say, lock, just at least go sign up and lock it in. Um, and as this grows and evolves, you know, we're going to, um, we're going to use this platform to, to, to unite the awakened individuals of the world, much like you're already doing Patricia and, and doing quite well at it, I might say. Um, so yeah, um, check That's it out. That's amazing. This is, yeah. I, this lo is <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I know it's, I couldn't like do this whole show and not like bring up like my life purpose and biggest project I I've ever worked on in my life. So I had to go. Oh my on. God. Can we just go, uh, can we talk about that next time as well? Because yeah. I mean, I see there a whole, I mean, the music and art festival. I love that because there's so many artists within this community as well. Um, you know, I'm a painter as well, um, which I actually never tell, but yeah. Um, and I, <laughs> That's great. I, I thought of picking it back up again because I haven't done it since 2011. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, this is, uh, this was big. We did this on, uh, 2 So a yeah. super aligned date. We, we rented the Walt Disney Amphitheater in Orlando, Florida, and, uh, we held the first Aquarium Music and Art Festival and, and, um, I, I guess uh, we can le leverage this opportunity for me to share that we, the team has decided to hold off on doing another one until there's enough demand and interest because we didn't quite get the turnout needed to do the first breath circle in history around Lake Eola. We needed a thousand oh. people and uh, we maybe had a couple hundred come out. So um, that was uh, a well, devastating that's a start, loss for me, is, but yeah. This is start, amazing. Yeah. I definitely want to be part of this. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, you're in you're in, this is it, you know, this is where it's happening. And, uh, you know, at least for now, you know, you guys could check out the forum. Um, you know, that's the community page here. I've got it structured that it's based around the five sciences. I call them, which are based around the five elements and the five platonic solids, you know, the fire science of your spirit, the earth science of your body, the air science of the mind, uh, the water science of your passions. And of course the etherical science of your purpose. So this is where we come to talk about it. Wow, this is so also similar as to what uh, Matthias De Stefano does. Um, he's on that mission and he uses these elements too. And um, you're both the same age. So it's really interesting to see this. Um, oh, great. Yeah, there's a whole new door opening now for me. So I'm definitely going to be investing in that and just... Um, you know, share it on my Telegram as well, because I found this really, really great initiative. And, you know, it's just a matter of people knowing about it. That's all that matters. And and then it starts, you know, spreading like an oil stain, but then a positive one. And so, yeah, people can, you know, join and uh, get their best potential out. That's that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. But we have to do it together, uh, individually and together. It's there's no need to be alone in this journey. Exactly. Well, you know, thank you so much. And uh, hi, Dennis Lindsay. Good to see you, Jimmy. Uh, and uh, who else did I see there? Anyway, I'm going to do the scratch off. <laughs> my first scratch off from a pill from uh, Foxhall. So whoever is there can do it. I don't know if I even have. Yeah, it's released so oh cool yeah it's a it's a new thing but it hasn't streamed on foxhole anyway so yeah that sucks a bit but it doesn't matter we'll get to that 
And uh, hi, Alexis, good to see you. And uh, so anyway, thank you so much. I love, love, love the music. I want to tell everybody to check it out. And uh, you are coming back and we're going to talk about more about uh, healing modalities, which is a whole different topic. But I love that there is so many, um, you know, layers to people um, and they are artistic, uh, you know, artists and they have so many levels of things. And I myself am a bit like that too. So I love exploring all that. It's great. Well, yes. Well, it has been such a pleasure, Patricia. Keep up the great work. And um, it's so great to finally meet you. And and now I'm connected. I've followed all your channels. And we're going to blast <laughs> this out to the world for anyone who couldn't be here today. And to everyone who was here today, thank you so much for showing up. And, yes. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you, Libby. Yes, that was another tribute after a year, thank you. Um, I'm happy that you liked it. And uh, yeah, um, you're going to be back. And everybody, I'm going to be back on Monday with uh, Lily Nova. And she's going to be sharing some of her UFOs uh, uh, footage and stuff that uh, she's experienced as she woke up um, uh, during the COVID. And she just went there out in the field. And all of a sudden, all these UFOs started showing up like literally in front of her and so yeah that's a whole new thing and it's amazing and uh we're going to be talking about that so um i'll see you all on monday hopefully and thank you so much matt for being here my pleasure take care everyone take care have a good night <laughs>